Number 16, Philip Lancaster says, hello, Pastor Mike. I was wondering, is it biblical to close your eyes and bow your head while you pray? Or is that a tradition made up with time? By the way, can't wait for the Hebrews study. Philip, me either, man. I'm like so excited to get into Hebrews. I find it for me, life giving, life just encouraging and uplifting to do verse by verse study, whereas projects are always more taxing. It's just something about the nature of God's word and just digging in and getting these beautiful gems, careful verse by verse analysis of a book that just feeds me spiritually. Um, can't wait to get into that and see it feed others as well because God's word is just that good. Um, <clears throat> so is it biblical to close your eyes and bow your head? Well, we have examples of all sorts of prayer in the Bible. So if we're looking at examples, we have lots of different things. Jesus would often lift his, at least in, uh, numerous times in scripture, he lifted his eyes up to heaven and prayed. That's interesting. But there's other times where he, in the Garden of Gethsemane, where he falls on the ground and he's sweating great drops of blood. And I think probably his head was down as he was praying there. Maybe he, maybe he was lifted up as well. There's times where, um, is it Hannah who's praying about having a kid and she hasn't been able to have a kid and her husband's like, Hey, I'm, and I, am I not good enough for you? This is, um, I believe Samuel's mom. And she is weeping and muttering with her. She's speaking very quietly and, <clears throat> um, she's praying kind of like brought down. There's also a, um, a man who Jesus talks about praying in one of the parables. And he says, you know, Pharisee and a tax collector come to come to the temple. One, he stands before God. And he's like, oh, I thank you. I'm not like other men or it's like this lame tax collector. And the tax collector, he bows and it says he would not even lift his eyes up. He's, he looks down at the ground and there he prays repent, in repentance and his prayers received. My point here is that there isn't a rule about how your posture in prayer is supposed to be. But there is an example in scripture that posture in prayer seems relevant. So if there's not a rule about it should be this way, but it does seem relevant, then I think your posture in prayer should be relevant to whatever situation you're in. When I'm alone, I don't, and I'm just praying, I don't, I don't necessarily close my eyes and bow my head, but when I'm in a group, I do because it's distracting to me and others like I have a friend who, when they pray, they'll look around the room while they're praying. Da, 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 And I find that this is distracting to me as I'm praying and I'm trying to think about the Lord. And this is a social issue. It's, it's not like it's actually a problem. It's just for me, I'm just going to close my eyes. <laughs> I think that that can be a useful thing at that moment. And especially if you are used to just closing your eyes when you pray. Um, but I've had other times where there's leaders in the room, especially like you're doing security in your church. Don't you close your eyes while we're praying. You can pray with your eyes open. There's no rule against that, but you got it. You actually have to keep looking around because that's exactly when crazy psycho number 12 is going to attack. <laughs> it's when everybody's closed, got their eyes closed. So yeah, the, the things, you know, it's relevant, but there's no rule about it. If you're rejoicing before God, why don't you lift your, your eyes and your hands to God? If you're in, in sorrow and grief, why don't you lower your head? Let your body reflect your heart because that's part of our communication with others and with God is allowing our bodies to reflect what's going on in our hearts and be mindful of the people around you. Maybe I want to stand up and shout as I pray, but maybe that would be disruptive to the environment I'm in. And I care about people, so maybe I'll do that somewhere else.